Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's just hop straight into it, okay? Angel Spirit Guides, Ancestors of Mine of the Highest White Light, give me some messages here for my YouTube collective, please, and thank you. Y'all, we got wedding rings. You got union and marriage, soul connection, everlasting love. So y'all got a wedding that's coming in for you, collector. So somebody here is wanting to marry you. Okay, what else, spirit? Anything else on this deck? Whoever this is that's wanting to come in and marry you here. All right, this is somebody here, y'all, that's making healthy choices now. This person is practicing self-love, self-care. This person is uh, more happier because they are making healthy choices now here. All right. Definitely. Anything else? All right, collective, this is somebody here that ghosted you before, okay? It says, I'm sorry I disappeared. I needed to get away and clear my head. So this person disappeared here, all right? Because this person was going through a lot here, all right? And it, it could have been mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, different things that you all's divine masculine was going through. But whatever it was, he, needed, he felt like he needed to clear his head because... Whatever it is, obstacles or whatever he was facing in his life, he felt like he wasn't in the headspace for a relationship. Okay? It was something going on in your divine masculine's life where he just was not balanced enough and he wasn't in a mental space to deal with a connection. Okay? So I definitely feel like he ghosted you. All right? And, and, went and tried to you know get things together here he do want to apologize for him disappearing and like causing this separation because this is somebody here that do know that you love him but at that time y'all or current it could even be current and my readings could be past present or future okay your person felt like he was not in a, in a mental space to deal with to have a relationship Okay, yeah, I feel like your person uh, could have been feeling lost. Your person could be quiet a lot. Like, you may not talk to this person a whole lot. Whether that's text messaging, calling, however it is that you all communicate. It's, I feel like it's very minimum communication like i don't feel like you all are speaking a lot and this is because he doesn't know what to say he doesn't know what to do and he doesn't know what to say and he's feeling lost okay like he's really feeling lost y'all okay but i feel like it's because it's time a lot of time has passed and it's like i don't feel like he has gave you he gave you like an explanation on what was going on so it's like Maybe you all knew it was something, but you didn't know really for sure what it was. And you like, just open up and tell me what's going on so I can better understand 
you the situation and how to move forward because i feel like some of you all literally were waiting around for this person and it's like he just up and left and you like wait a minute like what's going on here you know what i'm saying and you got you know uh unclear okay i don't know how i feel i don't know how i feel about this connection anymore collective i feel like this is you i feel like because this person ghosted you because he disappeared like he did because he didn't know what to and then he didn't know what to, so it's not like you didn't see him no more right and you maybe you heard from him. no this person disappeared and left and not only that you didn't hear from him so it's it, it kind of left you like wait a minute what's going on it, i feel like for some of y'all it left you feeling like he really didn't care like that the way that he left and the way that he just stopped communication and all of that so it left you feeling unclear like i don't know how i feel about this connection anymore like should i continue to move forward you know what i'm saying like should i ask god to bring me in somebody else i feel like you all were all it's like this person was in his head and he could have made you be in your head because it's like wait a minute i thought we was fine i thought we was going somewhere like what's going on you know what i'm saying but collective i do want to let you know that this person do look at you as his favorite person okay this is somebody here when when things happen in his life, you're the first person that he want to pick up the phone and call. Or you're the first person that he want to text and let you know what this good thing is here. Or when something going on in his life, even if it's not so good, he want to be able to come and talk to you. Because I do feel like he trusts you. You know what I'm saying? It's just that whatever it is that he was dealing with, he felt like it was a lot. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot for him to consistently have somebody around while he's healing or dealing with whatever this is here okay but just know you are this person's favorite person and it, it wasn't that he walked away because he wasn't feeling you he didn't like you or he didn't love you it's whatever this something is he he just didn't want to share that with you you know what i'm saying he wanted to deal with this alone by himself and then i feel like come back towards you once he dealt with it Let's see if it'll tell me what is this. Spirit, what is this that the Divine Masculine was dealing with? What is it that was going on with him in his head? Why? Why did he just ghost like that? What, what, what is it that the Divine Masculine was dealing with? Chaos. He had a whole lot of chaos in his, in his life. He could have got sued, y'all. So if your person had a business with somebody or um, maybe some type of contract or even if this was a job, you you know, like, what is it called, y'all? I can't think of what it's called, but like when, when a job treats you unfairly and then you file a report on them or something like that, like, it's something like that, y'all, okay? Something happened where it, it was with this man's job, business, and you know if that's affected, then your money affected. So definitely something about money, okay? And and your person was, it's like every day it was a battle, every single day. And I feel like he just kept all of these things that he was dealing with to himself here. It was draining his energy. So it's like all of his energy went towards whatever this is. You know what I'm saying? It's like... If you all were to be together, it's like it would be some days where he would shut down and, and wouldn't talk. And I feel like he felt like that was unfair for you to have had for him like that. So that's why, y'all, it's, it's like he wanted to make sure that whatever this is, he dealt with it first before having a relationship with you. So, y'all, this could be something that he's coming out of or he could be currently in. And that is the reason why... You know what I'm saying? It's like he be shutting down or he be running away. It's not that he don't care about you and he don't want to be with you. It's that he, he his life is very chaotic right now. And he's trying to get out of it. Okay, with the Six of Swords, he's trying to move towards common waters here. Okay, and he is dealing with it, but he, maybe he's not quite out of it yet. And whatever this thing is, it's draining him of his energy. So, so, so some days, it's like he will have to fake it, y'all. I'm telling you, because I, he could be tired a whole lot. 
I'm talking about all his energy be gone and depleted. It's like, man, the days where he feel good, he feel good. But on those other days, it's like he be drained. You know what I'm saying? Just a whole lot of problems, you know. And definitely I'm getting where it could be uh, some type, something dealing with court, something dealing with his job or something like that, y'all, or some type of contract. I feel some of y'all, your person got into a contract and he trying to get out of it. You know, whatever kind of contract that may be. But he don't, he don't want it to be a missed opportunity. Okay? He don't want it to be a missed opportunity. So that's why he trying to go ahead on and deal with this situation, you know. Yeah, see, I feel like when your when your person initially walked away, y'all, your person could have act like he did not care what happened between y'all. Okay, he feel he felt like well, he appeared as if he was very unbothered, like he didn't care that, um, you know what I'm saying that this was going on. Cause for some of you all. Somebody told your person that you was dating somebody. Y'all, for some of y'all, take it how it resonates, leave it, lead the rest. But for some of y'all, somebody told your person that you was dating somebody or seeing somebody. And that's why he just went on here and walked away. Somebody could have lied, y'all. Now, I don't know if y'all was out here dating and and you probably wasn't taking nobody serious like that and it got back to your person that you was dating or somebody lied but i'm really getting somebody lied because your person like is it true tell me it isn't so for some of y'all your person goes to you because somebody told this person you was actively dating somebody and and he just left and he didn't even say nothing he didn't tell he didn't tell you what was said and he didn't tell you who told him he just up and ghosted and disappeared. And I feel like he acted like he didn't care or he acted like he was unbothered. But I feel like this really bothered him at the fact that it, that he felt like it was somebody else in the picture. Now, that's for some of y'all. That ain't all of y'all. But for some of y'all, that's definitely what happened. That is why your person goes to you. Now, some of y'all, it was something dealing with him. Whatever was taken toll, it was some type of contract or something dealing with his business or work. And it was affecting his money and his stability. And he felt like he had to get away to clear his head because it was taking too much. It was taking all his energy and draining him. Now, others of you all, somebody told your person that you was with somebody. And it disappointed him. And that's why he didn't continue on trying to pursue the situation. Because it's like, wait, why am I trying to pursue something and she dating somebody? You know what I'm saying? And he just left like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't care, but he really did, though. But he, I don't feel like, the correct thing to do was to come tell you what this person said. And even if he didn't say who it was, he could at least say that something that came to him. Is it true? And let you be like, yes or no. But instead, this person just left and ghosted and he tried to act like he wasn't bothered or he didn't care but it was really eating him up in the inside you know what I'm saying but I feel like he was feeling that way I feel like off of a whole lot when he could have just easily came to you and said something you know what I'm saying where it could have cleared it up that way it wouldn't have been no issue but I feel like now he's wanting to communicate and, like, finally speak about it. Like, what happened? You know what I'm saying? Why he acted the way he acted. Why he was so distant. Why he ghosted. Whether it was dealing with the contract, the business, the job, his money, or it was this lie that somebody said or something like that. It's like, whatever it is, he's ready to open up and talk about it. Okay.
Yeah, your person could receive all of your telepathic messages because I do feel like some of you all really was wondering like what's going on. It's like, I really don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? But I still send this person love and healing. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like you were still sending this person positive energy. You were still sending this person so much love. And it's like, you know what? The communication suck. You, you know, you even though... You didn't communicate with me effectively. I know that is something. And I know you wouldn't have ghosted or did what you did unless it was really something. I feel like you all are having, like, compassion for this person because you know it's something. And you you know that this person didn't come into your life to just treat you bad or, or you know, just abandon you and stuff. So you know that it's something. So you all are having, like, compassion for this person. You know what I'm saying? But this person do receive your telepathic um, messages here, okay? Yeah, y'all. So some type of important information is getting ready to come in, and it's been a it's been a change the dynamic of you all's relationship and status and it's going to balance things out in this connection here and whatever this information is y'all i feel like you all are going to reconcile right after this here okay it could have been a bitter ex that lied a bitter ex could have lied or sent somebody in to tell your person a lie about you so he wouldn't come towards you for some of you all a, a ex is involved in a lie this is somebody that he could have been with maybe before you or something and um especially if this ex was cool with some of his friends or something like that they definitely could have had one of these people come in and lie to your person so this person would not give you an offer you know, a love offer and commit to you okay because she was trying to throw salt in it because they didn't work out or they broke up for whatever reason so for some of y'all that's what it was okay yeah now others of you all like i said it was something dealing with this man's job or his business or something and it could have been a court situation okay but whatever it is it's some important information coming in from your person and, it, and it's going to balance things out in y'all's connection Okay, for some of you all, it was his fears. Okay, and then I say for some of y'all, it was an ex that was involved that could have that could have lied to him about something about you, or she sent somebody in to tell him something about you so he wouldn't give you an offer because she ain't with him. Okay, because like I said, I got that too. But your person, I do feel like had fears, and it could have came from. This ex cheating on him, lying on him, or doing something. You know what I'm saying? So she ain't want him to be happy. It's like a person wanting to hold on to you for, like, control or not want, knowing that they can't do you right or they didn't do you right. And they just want to hold on to you, like I said, for uh, the control or whatever. Or they just don't want to see you happy with nobody else. They don't want to see you happy, period, but especially with nobody else. Okay, but this person is letting go of his fears. He is leaving behind karmic people, friends, family, any kind of attachments here. Okay. I'm also getting y'all this person could have some important information could come into your person. And he could be telling you what, what done came in, what this is. But your person, he don't wanna he don't wanna see you slip away. And it's saying he on his way to you right now. Okay. Yeah, your person, see, your person wanted to be sure that you would stand by him, like, through whatever. It's like, people are always here for me when I'm up. People are always here for me when when things are good. But can you be here with me when I'm going through something? Like, I feel like this is what your person wanted to know. Like, will you be there uh, if a hard time ever occur? Or would you just, like, up and, and leave? You know, would you stand by his side and still love him the same way? And, you know, I feel like he got confirmation that you're going to, you a rider, like you're going to be there, you know, but that's what he wanted to know. 
Like before I fully invest into this relationship, I need to know that this woman is here. Because I'm not first starting over all over again. Got to get to know nobody. This person want to know like, look, if I let my guard down, if I actually invest into this relationship, is you here with me? Is you rocking with me? Is you rolling with me? Is we here? Is we locked in? Collective. I feel like y'all locked in. That's why he, you know what I'm saying? He ready to come towards you. Yeah, he is missing that passion between you all here. Okay. Yeah. I do feel like after this person got hurt, he did used to love and lead him. And then he met you and you changed the game. Okay. He it says, give it to you like I ain't never had. Okay, so this person ready to do that. Okay, and he ready to apologize to you. Okay, he can he can't even sleep, he can't even eat. He wanna let you know that he loves you. All right, and that you a blessing. You a blessing. And he feel like it's a blessing that he found somebody like you. Okay. But that is all I have for you all. I hope that this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your donations. Thank you for booking personal readings with me. God love you. And I do too. Bye, y'all.